that you got? I often, guys, uh, when I, uh, coaches ask me, what is the best form for me to exit with? Now, I don't enjoy the fact that we've got a mall. Exit means for the viewer, we're in our 22 and we're going to get out of here. So I realize now there's, there's guys back for the covering the kick. So what I enjoy, instead of setting up the mall until it collapses or play for the penalty, I like my one and three, my two tight forwards to go out and I'll win the ball with three loose forwards or two loose forwards and two locks. Meaning, if I set the ball up in the midfield, say my 12 carries in or my six, I can attack both sides, loose forwards one side and my back line on the other side. And the, what I, the coaching tip is look for something else to, to exit with, not always. I like what the, like what the Sharks are doing. They'll see it. Free, uh, two locks, two loose forwards is in there. Now they'll pass it to the, another flanker to the middle of the field with two props. You can see the two props. They're not in the line-out. They're the best cleaners. So James Fenter will carry there and they'll come with a cleaner. Now up to here, yeah, that's my concern. They, 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 just, they set up to kick. I want from there to set up to run pass kick. Meaning on the right-hand side, the guys that was in the line-out and this side, the guys that was in the back line. You can just see the spaces on this side. The option of running it wide was so much on with teams that I was involved in. We had so much success from there to attack because the, they've got three guys back, so you can run from there. This is an option, but it just came too late, just to show you the spaces there. So the coaching tip is, think out of the box. Maybe don't lose your one and three in the line out always. Let them be the cleaners. Leave your loose forwards one side, get your backs on the other side, and you will be amazed the amount of space that open. Mm -hmm. 15 guys attacking, 12 or 13, because they think you're going to kick. Don't just maul it and kick it. <laughs> just the other advantage, too, is that you bring the wings up a little bit, because if you've set up a midfield ruck, the lump, if they stay back, then you can use it, take it, and the second last guy can kick or pass. So you, you force the wingers to think. If they come up, you isolate the fullback, so your kick can be into space. Your thoughts? <laughs> and I'm smiling because, uh, you know, again, from, on the flip side, on the defence, if you lose the ball at the line-up, you have your props defending in, in, the, mid, in the midfield, you know, from a defensive perspective. So, and the chances of them defending centres is big. So you, you can also, you know, on the, on, again, but that's just from a... How would you exit? Thing. Say it again? How would you exit? Well, I like just getting the ball first. Uh, and, and then, simple. Uh, you know, in my own 22, I'm, I, I like playing low risk. If you have the players that's got a certain skill set, yeah. then you can do what, you know, do all these fancy things that's always loves. I think what's but key is players, eh? Personal. Player profile. Yeah. Just on that, I don't think it's fancy stuff I'm doing. It's just thinking differently. Because mm. if I've got my two locks and my two loose forwards, the lanky oaks, they can't win a four-man line-out, then there's a problem. For me, for me, that is uh, much easier from there. I've got them loose to, ch uh, to attack that side and my back's this side. Often, your props are shorter, guys. For the lift. So I like it under pressure there, uh, to use that system. It's a system that works, works very well to have the, the advantages. If my two props are outside, the clean is very aggressive. And if I get quick ball there, I can launch the attacker, a very good attack. Ball in hand approach. Ball in hand approach. You no, won't kick it. The kick Pass will first. come. Pass first. The, the, no, the, the, the kick will come. Nick said so well, depending on the situation of the wings. If the wings are back, we run it. If the wings are up, then we kick it. That's playing chess. Why just to set up a line out and maul it and wait for the penalty or give the box kick, you make it a 50-50. But you're right, that's conservative. <laughs> I'm never conservative. Uh, <laughs> I can't be. Just on that point, talking about uh, the French, do a lot of, they, they'll pick a big prop, a big lock rather, like mm. Willemse, uh, a yeah. big heavy uh, guy uh, who's very difficult to lift. But he'll be lifting their, their flanker yeah. and their number eight so much higher than the six foot exactly. prop because they're six foot six. Yeah. So imagine a guy with six foot six with long arms, he's getting the guy a foot higher. So it is a, it is a, a good theory for your short line out, fewer numbers, to be with the tallest of players. But I must admit, don't lose the ball. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <use> <laughs> Malherbe's perhaps uh, stuck in the middle. Yeah.